My mind is blown that one of the most important films of our generation, piece by piece, is not number one at the box office this weekend. Why? We have a problem with hypocrisy in American media where we'll uplift someone or something to a very, very high level and then not acknowledge the amount of good that that person, that story, that thing has done for us as a society. Pharrell's work has gone far beyond being a music producer. This man has united the world multiple times and created infrastructure for us to unite in his companies, in the storytelling. Culture shifts with music first all the time. I'm making this video on TikTok. TikTok and the TikTokification of media is an example of hip hop's influence on global culture, meaning that hip hop contains rap. Rap has given us condensed, truncated storytelling, meaning it is a technology that has allowed us to communicate more efficiently, communicate stories and ideas more rapidly than longer form content previously did. That is rap music, it is a technology. When other media formats outside of music start to absorb the cultural shift that's first articulated in music, then we see change throughout society and culture. The visual storytelling and TikTokification of media is truncated storytelling. It is more efficient and effective learning for us as human beings than we previously had. Pharrell's contribution to hip hop and to what Steve Stout, a famous music executive, would call the tanning of America or the tanning of the world, where the youth culture through hip hop started finding commonality internationally through the language of hip hop. It is a almost immeasurable impact on human unification. Therefore, this movie piece by piece, which should have been number one at the box office, is incredibly important for one of the pillars of hip hop, of international human unification, who is Pharrell, and his story being told, should have been celebrated on a level that we haven't seen before. But it's not. I am conscious of my PTSD from years of absorbing media and seeing what the industry will do to films that have people with brown skin in them. You may be unconsciously affected by it, but it definitively happens. For example, certain films uh, that go international, uh, Black Panther was one of them, where you will not see the brown faces on a large scale in other countries because historically black films were thought to not sell uh, as as well as non-black films. I don't know if that fear or if those mechanisms were utilized in the marketing of piece by piece and sh getting this story shared more widely. I do know that I was seeking to feel all of the personalities that are in the film from Snoop Dogg to Gwen Stefani to all these amazing artists that appear in the film. I wanted to feel that in the marketing and I did not. I'm taking my time to make this video because it's been on my mind so intensely. It is such an important film. I do consider it one of the most important films ever made. It is a cultural shifting film. One of the production companies on the film is Tongle, a crowdsourced filmmaking agency that does everything from commercial work to building Lego's world builder platform. And therefore, a bunch of the shots in this film were actually made by people around the world who just wanted to be a part of something bigger than themselves, which is part of the future of filmmaking. And I'm always talking about that here on this channel, Real World. And I'm honestly a little apprehensive about making this video because I have personal relationships with Tongle, with the CEO of Tongle, James DeJulio, who's a wonderful guy. And I came out of Pharrell's Black Ambition Accelerator. And I want to make sure that people don't interpret this as one, me trying to push a film for people that I like, or two, that the folks that I like interpret this as a jab at them because Tongle's amazing. I have profound respect for Pharrell and I'm deeply grateful for the support that his ecosystem has given my company, Real World. I simply feel that this movie is too important for people to not be seeing it, to not get a stronger opening weekend at the box office when something as as mundane as as horror is is trumping it that doesn't make sense to me i mean we need to do better as a culture i know that we all want to do better as a culture and part of doing better is going to see this movie and blowing this thing up and moving it to up number one